And hi there! Hello! <laughs> I'm Diane, and you must know me if it's on my page. And this is Diane Parnell. You're all of I. Jeez, <laughs> oh my god. We're tired. <laughs> We're tired. We are in Denver, which is totally out of my zone. We're normally living in Salmon Arm, British Columbia. And so welcome, and we want to talk about what we're doing because we're at this wonderful workshop being trained by our wonderful mentors and we have so much exciting news to tell you, so much wonderful training that, that we had to share it together. And so, so I'm Olive Dodd and I'm, this is my business page because I want to educate, inspire, encourage you to bring your business online using social media strategies. And with me is... I'm Diane, and I also have a business page, and I do the same as Olive. I inspire, educate, and uh, teach people a different way to um, build their businesses the right way online. So at this workshop, we're learning some amazing things, and it's only our first day. So if today was any indication, the rest <laughs> of the week is going to be wow. <laughs> so yeah, so we just wanted to give you a few takeaways. We're, we're going to keep this short. and. Um, Take it away. <laughs> Take it away, yes. <laughs> so it's wonderful. The mentors here are absolutely incredible. So it's a group of about 40 people, and we are working on building our business and how to do that much better. So, uh, for example, one of the biggest uh, things that we worked on this afternoon was our target market. And so we worked in groups, and we worked on who our target market was, what their pains and problems are, what their desires, and the language. And some of the things that came out was, for example, different countries. So if you're talking to the United States versus Canada, there was different languages that we use, say, for retirement, because in the States they would talk about 401k. And so I asked, what is that? <laughs> and so the, the aha moment was that, okay, well, you have to really define who your target market is. If you want to talk to people in the United States, then go ahead and use that language. Otherwise, or maybe it's the UK, they might have a different term. So you have to think about, really think about who your target market is and what their language is and be specific about that. Mm -hmm. And we've both talked about target markets and this is why it's so important because this never really dawned on me either until we did this exercise today and shared because we got the topic of, they were just generic and it was about weight loss and one of the things that came up is if you have a um, um, age group between say 25 and 40, 40 to 45, they are more about feeling attractive and vibrant and that kind of thing, whereas if they're older groups, that might not be so important to them anymore. So it really brought it home how important it is to know who you're talking to and what their pains and struggles are and using their language when you're speaking to them and doing ads. So that was that was really powerful for, for me anyway and for a lot of the people I think in the room. So yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And hi, Darlene. It's so great to see you. <laughs> we are tired. We've been oh, traveling man. in long day. But anyway, we, here we are because yep. we want to be consistent and <laughs> show up for our exactly. lives. And so one more takeaway that we wanted to talk about was evaluation. And I've talked about this before, but it was brought together again. And it, sometimes, you know, when you repeat things, then it really hits home. And the way it was presented today, I really enjoyed. And it was about evaluating where you are. And so you could evaluate, you know, yourself for the one day or for a week or for a month or whatever is pertinent to you. And so it's, um, you ask yourself three questions. And so it's three ways of what worked. So whether that's for the day or the week. And then it would be, to uh, what did not work and then what one thing what you might do differently and there's a key word in there and I'm going to save that to last but just going through those and of course when we're working on today we're sitting there in a workshop and so you know it's really hard to come up with these answers but we're told dig deep get into the emotions you know you have to really feel it and I had a very powerful moment when I just 
spurted out an answer to a question and then I got challenged okay well what's the real reason behind that and mm -hmm. I had to keep digging deeper and deeper and they didn't let he didn't let <laughs> off until I you know started to feel some emotion and then afterwards it was powerful because he asked the crowd well did you see the shift mm -hmm. you know and there was a change in my voice and my emotion and the crowd what really picked up what I picked up is that they could feel that in me and so it's really deep uh, diving deep into those emotions when you answer these questions absolutely same thing happened for me one lady had uh, made a statement and it really struck me and I went <gasps> you know made a comment like that and of course they nailed me on that one too and said what was that all about and it just dawned on me that what she had said was an aha moment for me in in my business and it was like wow that's really profound so yeah it's just a different perspective and when you're in a room with that many people and you're in a safe environment you can say things that you wouldn't maybe normally talk about so that was a really powerful thing for me and uh, for Olive too because she was yeah. the recipient <laughs> of it so it was really cool so just reading uh, your comment, Darlia, I gotta bring my nose in close. What about the language thing before that makes sense? Target. It does. Yeah. That's why it's so important because you're not gonna you you know, um, talk about your your product or business or whatever it is to someone who wouldn't even care about what you're doing. You know, if you marketed winter coats to somebody who lives in a tropical climate that's not your target market because they're not going to buy a winter coat, you know? So it really narrows it down. And that was a huge exercise. Yeah. And I think everyone in the room yeah. got the same aha moment out of it because it's that's how really important it is to have a target market and know who your avatar is and who you're marketing to or talking to. Yeah. Or if so, you're using a term that people don't understand, exactly. then they're missing the point. Exactly. Yeah. And... Uh, so one powerful, uh, just going back to the three questions, uh, one powerful, uh, the last question is what, what might you do differently? And the really powerful thing there is the word might because uh, a typical word that somebody might say would be, well, what can I do differently? But can uh, implies that there's an ability there or it's in the past based on your abilities whereas might is the future and powerful and more positive so that was a really there you go yeah <laughs> that's awesome yeah so i think we're going to leave it there we are going to go and grab a bite to eat and hit our beds really early <laughs> we have three more days of yeah. this wondrous information so so thanks for watching everybody and uh let us know where you're coming in from so we can give you a shout out. If you're on replay, um, tag us, uh, you know, what do you call it? Hashtag replay. <laughs> and we'll give you a shout out later. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye, bye for bye. now.